Hello there, so this is Darlington and I'm glad to be with you today. So um, for our tutorial today, I want to actually start getting you guys to uh, prepare for your, you know, web trade job, you know, opportunities in web three space, either as a writer, content creator or a blockchain developer. So long as you're in the blockchain space, I want to share with you uh, some of the uh, the things that I've learned just a few days ago, trying out my my you know doing some attempt in grabbing some web three jobs. You know, um, I don't used to consider all this freelancing thing like a thing. You know, it's not like my thing. So I was like, okay, I'm about to talk about resume. I'm preparing resume. How about I prepare my own resume and put it out there, you know, in the job market and see what uh, clients are going to talk about concerning it. So I decided to prepare one resume as a sample so that I could show that to you guys and you can, you know, see how I arrange my stuff and you can take some inspirations from there and prepare your own uh, resume for your works and your various positions. So I ended up doing two instead of one and I'm going to show you why I'm going to tell you why. So I'm going to go about reviewing all these, um, my, uh, resumes. And also I'm going to tell you what I subjected this resume to bad and, um, charge it to be, and they gave it a very <laughs> an insane ranking, you know? So I will let you be the judge at the end of the day. I also put it on, put it out there on, on LinkedIn, you know, just published it and it kind of received a lot of impression. I think I got over, you know, 3,500 or close to 3,500 impressions and a lot of likes and all of that. And I, that was when I got some, uh, comment from someone that's, uh, supposed to be, uh, or someone that say that she's a, uh, a professional resume, uh, crafter <laughs> she might she say so okay so she kind of hinted hinted some things that i needed to improve about the resume so i took her um advice and revamped the resume added more things to read and made it a lot more uh friendly for an ats system and i'm going to share you, with you what an ATS system ats system is you know in the course of this tutorial so if you're ready please make sure you smash and like the, you know this video smash and subscribe many of you have not been subscribing to this channel please you should do so okay hit and like that subscribe button it will really help the growth of the channel all right so and i'm also as a bonus i'm going to show you what i got as some um reviews from real uh clients you understand i actually use this to put that put it up out here on on um what's it called upwork <laughs> and i think i got out of six out of six um out of six attempts you know um in applying for for work on on uh what's it called upwork i got about three three people wanted me to be part of them like boo, 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 like and i like um I've tried Upwork in the past when I was starting up and it didn't quite work out for me. Was it Upwork? That was freelancer.com. But this time when I just tried this Upwork thing, you know, with the level of experience and my understanding about this whole space that I am and my the attractiveness of my resume, it made it so much easier and with a series of wisdom, of course, you know, it made it like very easy for me to apply for stuff and having feedbacks from uh, a potential client you understand so i'm going to show you one of the some of the things that i say about my portfolio and about my uh, my resume so this whole thing started with a student on our dap mentors academy asking a question you know if he wants to apply for a blockchain role you know what does he need to add in his resume you know with hard job experience and all that so um that was how all these things started so i kind of had an idea the idea was okay let me elaborate on this question and convert it to a youtube video and then have everyone benefit from it at once so i 
the first step that I wanted to do was to go about designing a resume that we really outline the kind of things that I do, who I am, you know, and and try to really explore how all this whole thing works. Because if I want my student and the people that are you know learning under me to have a a very firm understanding on how to write and build their resume, I should do that by by example, right? So I went on to do the example, and I'm going to show you next. So the next thing that I went about doing was to design the portfolio according to my job description, a summary about me, my experience, my contact details, my competencies, my skills, my project, and my educational background. So I added all these things to my portfolio and got it ready on Canva. So the next thing I proceeded by asking ChatGPT, I subjected the resume to ChatGPT, asking ChatGPT to analyze it, go through it, and actually grade it like a recruiter. You know, I'm giving ChatGPT the role of a blockchain developer so that it can perform a good analysis on my uh, resume because I wanted to have a feel of how you know a recruiter when a recruiter sees my resume how he's going to grade it so I subjected it and Charlie P did quite some fantastic job you know illustrating the parts the aspect the areas that he's going to be looking at and he gave it a B plus which is pretty good and that B plus actually resonated around you know uh, 85 percent you know uh, probability of me getting hired for the role so I also asked Bad to do the same thing because I want to like have a, a more rounded understanding about this. So I told Bad to do the same thing as Chad we did and Bad did pretty good thing as well, similar, which kind of give me uh, a much more uh, robust understanding about what I am actually doing. And Ch- uh, Bad actually gave it a nine out of 10 and that was pretty impressive and it gave me the you know the confidence and understanding that okay i had you know done quite a good job on it before i did the next thing and so on the next scene i made a png image of this and posted it on linkedin and then i got quite a lot of impression about 1500 impression and i also got a recruiter you know commenting and giving me more insight on what i needed to adjust which was in compliance with what ats you know which is applicant tracking system so i did quite uh, i i took note of that I didn't immediately apply that, but I took note of that because I knew that, okay, uh, if it's a human being that is up and going through this, this person will look through my resume the more, but if it's a machine, it's just going to uh, skip past some things. So I needed to take note of that. So I did the adjustment, which I'm going to show you in the later, in the later section of this video. So I got some response from, you know, uh, a couple of clients, I think about three, you know, on this first uh, resume, even without making those adjustments that the uh, resume expert, you know, uh, gave me. So I got some really good uh, uh, response. Some of them, you know, saying that, hello, your portfolio is impressive. You know, I got that like a lot. You know, we are interested in cooperating with you. Let me tell you a little bit about the assignment, you know, and told me quite a lot of things, including the money, you understand? I was like, thank you, thank you, you know. And I also have another client, you know, talk, converse, conversing with me and also like, uh, or even offering like a permanent position. Like, you know, I was like, ha permanent position already you know and also have another client you know that like was like you know we are true to have you on board looking forward to and all these are like you know like really really high paying you know tasks but that is to just give you some clues about what this particular uh, resume was able to pull up in the marketplace even without me doing quite a lot of uh, adjustment on it so on the next thing I decided to do some adjustments to improve it because I noticed that, okay, what if I find myself among major competitions, you know, let's say very highly lucrative uh, task, something like above 10,000 USD or something like that. So I'll be like, okay, what am I going to do? Let me take the advice of that recruiter and make sure that I improve my resume to reach that level again where um, 
you know uh if i have like you know 100 people 1000 people applying for the same job that the ats ats basically is you know applicant tracking system is a scanner is a software that scans for some certain keyword you know for that we that we really match the job description and then filter out those people that don't kind of match and then just reserve the the handful of people that we match and then those are the people that get to be interviewed so i want to fall into those category of the people that get to be interviewed and not people that just get discarded so i apply some you know some modifications to uh the resume according to the information that i got from the resume experts okay and this is what i this is what the resume turns out to become and so i proceeded to doing the adjustment on the uh resume and i did some changes to it adding work experience and making sure that the executive summary had those keywords that she recommended and then uh i added the relevant skills even boost up my my experience work experience and added more i didn't have enough space so i just added the ones that i have did added my core competencies my accomplishments my contributions to the dev community and on private you know uh dealings as well so those are the things that i added to the resume and it boosted it boosted it up so i decided to do a second litmus test which is to uh, subject it to charge it again and see what charge will say about these new changes to the um to the uh, resume this time around you know chat if he did another you know analysis and had a better so it gave me a grade of a like you know grade of a like i was even surprised because that means that this portfolio i mean this resume is top notch and it gave me around that kind of 92 percent which is absolutely phenomenal so i was quite satisfied with all those modifications and all of that you know and i had my what I will call my perfect resume, okay? Which is very great for me, okay? And I hope that you got quite a lot of, you know, insight from these whole uh, walkthrough and processes that I had to go through to prepare this resume for you. I hope you're really, you know, excited about that. So most of you, we want to like, you know, have access to this whole prepared document. So. What I would recommend to you is to go to dabmentors.com slash login and actually, you know, uh, get to the Dashment Academy and download the templates, okay? Within the templates, there is a link that I've added there, which will give you access to uh, the platform and you can actually, uh, you know, modify, make a copy of it and modify it yourself. All right. Also, I want you to take this opportunity and, you know, click on that. If you have, if you really are willing, you can actually, you know, subscribe to that mentors Academy plus, which, you know, is just about $8.44 and you can have access to, you know, most of my, uh, premium content. Okay. So if you're ready, make sure you click on that, uh, uh, that mentors academy plus a package and have access to the full content of the uh of the website all right so with that said um i'm going to see you in the next tutorial don't forget to make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell and we'll see you in the next tutorial it's darlington gospel here bye bye